You know, but when I went to London, you know, it dawned on me that I started thinking about Nigerians. They are different. Nigerians are different. Oh, God. We they form. We they form. I saw in London British Yoruba accent, British Igbo, British worry. <laughs> I saw one Igbo boy say, say, as long as my London is good, Nepa don't take right here. Eh? <laughs> they don't take right. Right from the left, you say, no, right, 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 right. I said, wow. Well, I saw Yoruba British. I said, as long as my London is good, man. Um, the only thing I miss is the food. Like, when I'm in Lagos, I like to eat rice and egg. Eh? I like to, I eat two eggs daily. I said, oh, to egg with you. <laughs> but the one I can never forget, oh, glory, British worry, it was obvious. I said, as long as the melon is cool. I said, what do you, what, what's, your, what's your routine like? He said, well, I'm going to the office, from my office, I have coffee break at one, and from one, um, okay, in the evening, I'll be going to shush. Hey! I'm going to where? Shush! Wow, wow! Is a pastor Shoshi? <laughs> like, wonderful people. Nigerians can form because of those people. Lagos guests now want to upgrade. You now hear blunders everywhere. I was like, yeah, but one lady met me. Says I'm looking for Victoria Island. I say where? He said in Lagos. I said there's no Victoria Island in Lagos. It's Victoria Island. He said they call it V I. I say yes. He said but there is S in the spelling. I said, the S is silent. She said, why did they add it? <laughs> I said, not be me discover Lagos. One was telling a friend, where are you? He said, I'm at a boutique queue in front. <laughs> Down a boutique. Oh. I'm at a boutique queue. The guy said, I've, I've been walking around the place. I can't see any boutique queue. Where are you? The guy now came out. Okay, they wrote it from boutique queue and jewelry. <laughs> that jewelry. The girl asked him, are you in Suri Larry? He said, no, I'm in Father Hidden's boutique, Andrew. <laughs> oh, God. We they form. The one I saw at an event, husband and wife eating cocktail. Then after everything, main food. The man would just eat. You know some men don't have eating habits. Use fork and knife to be making noise. Do one I want to say, ah, what is wrong with you? And she wanted to say, the man, see everybody eating calmly. Don't you have simple food etiquette? Now, what did she want to talk? He said, look at you now. Everybody are eating your food, you're up on the ground. Make noise. Bark, bark, bark. Don't you have simple food? Etekwete. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Etekwete. The waiter over here said, man, we didn't serve it to. Etekwete. Nonsense. Negotians, we can form. I saw all of my old-time friends say forever. Ah, I saw you on TV. You're doing great in comedy. I said, what about you? He said, I'm also in art. I said, what do you do? I'm into poetry. I'm like, you sell chicks. He said, no, I do poems. Eh? I said, wow. You went to poetry. Now, wow. Let me say, if they read your poem, they're going to play drumsticks for you. <laughs> no. I don't like that we pretend too much. How many of you saw the, one, the other one on, on, on social media? That said he studied marine engineering and a fisherman for Bomadi. I said, my brother, he said, if you see the trajectory of when I throw the hook and it catches the fish, that's angle 90, angle of depression. I say you are depressed. Not only angle of depression. 